Hello mga mathusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, continuation lamang ito ng inyong integral and zero exponents. Ha? Yung learning task number 2 ninyo. Ngayon, bago ko simulan ang discussion na to, siguraduhin nyo na munang i-like nyo na agad-agad ang video na ito. I-like nyo na, ha? Okay. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, please pindutin mo na dyan ang subscribe button dahil sisiguraduin kong hindi mo pagsisisihan ang pag-subscribe sa YouTube channel na ito. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Okay na. So, let's start! Okay, ang task natin is to find the single value of the following without exponent. So, kung mapapansin nyo, may mga exponents tayo dyan, both uh, zero and negative exponents, tatanggalin na natin yung mga yan. Ang maganda lang dito sa learning task na ito, puro numbers lang ha. Wala na tayong mga variables na dapat pang i-considered. Kaya, mas madali lang siya. Okay, so... O baka mamaya, akala nyo mahirap ha, nag-judge na kayo ha. So, eto na, sige na, simulan na natin. Okay, for number 1, we have this 3 raised to negative 2 multiplied by 2 raised to negative 1. Kung matatandaan nyo, dun sa discussion natin, di ba, para matanggal natin yung mga negative exponents, kinukuha natin yung reciprocal ng expression. Okay, so, ganun ang gawin natin dito. Since we have here 3 raised to negative 2, alam natin na ito ay over 1. So, ang reciprocal nito ay 1 over 3 raised to 2. I-multiply natin siya ngayon sa reciprocal din nito, which is 1 over 2 raised to 1. Pero bago natin i-multiply yan, i-perform muna natin yung mga exponents ha. O, oh, wait lang. Paano natin i-enter to? Okay, so we have here now 1 over, what is 3 squared? 9 multiplied by 1 over 2 raised to 1 is still 2. And then, we multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. 1 times 1 is 1. 9 times 2 is 18. So, your answer is 1 over 18. Ang dali, no? Mukha lang komplikado, pero hindi naman siya talaga komplikado. Okay, now we have here 9 raised to 2 plus 9. Alam natin na according sa zero exponents, any expression, Sorry, raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, itong 9 raised to 0, 1 lang yan. Plus 9. So, 1 plus 9 is 10. Oh, that's the answer. Oh, ha? Ganun, ganun lang. Ang dali naman pala nitong lesson na to. Oh, nadalian ba kayo, ha? Mukha lang mahirap. Kaya don't judge. Oh, we have here 5 times a 7 raised to 0. This is equal to... Saan? Equal siya kay 1, di ba? Kasi naka-raise siya kay 0. So, we have here 5 multiplied by 1 plus a 4. Uh, kung mapapansin nyo, ito ay negative exponent. So, imumultiply mo siya sa reciprocal nito. Ano ba ang reciprocal ng 4 raised to negative 1? Di ba? Over 1 to. So, pagbabalik ta rin mo sila, kaya magiging multi imumultiply mo ngayon ito sa 1 over 4, raised to 1 na siya. Pero dahil, sige na nga, pahabain na natin para, o oh, ayan, magiging 4 raised to 1 na siya, magiging positive na siya. Kasi na, reciprocal na natin. So, let's simplify. 5 times 1 is a 5 plus, okay, we have 4 times 1, you have a 4 over 4 raised to 1 is also 4. Okay, so what is 4 over 4? That's 1. Kaya meron ka ngayon dito na, o oh, baba ko ha, 5 plus, so that is a 5 plus 1. Kasi 4 over 4 is 1. So, your answer is 6. That's it. Okay, for number 4, okay, we have this one. Enter ko lang ha, kasi wala tayong space. 
O, oh, ayan. So, 4 raised to negative 1, kailangan ulit natin i-reciprocal. So, you have here 1 over 4 raised to 1. Hindi ko na ilalagay ha, 1 na lang siya. Eh, dahil 1 naman siya, automatic yung base, yun na yung answer ha. 4 raised to 1 is 4. Minus, okay, we have here yung reciprocal nito, which is 1 over 3 raised to 3. Okay, kailangan muna natin i-simplify ito. We have here 1 over 4 minus 1 over what is 3 raised to 3. Diba? Alam nyo na ito ay, ang ibig sabihin nito ay 3 times 3 times 3. So, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3. You have 27. So, this is equal to 27. Ayan. And then, we subtract. O, paano natin isasubtract yan? Alam niyo yung butterfly method? Ha? O, sige, let's do the butterfly method. Ang una natin gagawin is i-multiply natin yung 27 by 4. O, what is 27 times 4? O, sige nga, i-multiply nyo nga dyan, ha? Ano ang sagot? We have what? Okay, we have 108. Okay? And then, diba 108 divided by 4 is 27, tas times 1. So, ang gagawin mo dun sa technique nating butterfly, i-multiply mo lang yan. So, you have here 27, and then minus, eto din, i-multiply mo lang siya. Okay, so we have 4. And then, we subtract. What is 27 minus 4? You have 23 over 108. Okay, okay na ba to? Lowest term na ba to? I guess lowest term na siya kasi 23 ito, wala naman siyang common with 108. Okay, o oh, try natin kung gusto nyo, yung 108 ba ay divisible by 23? Tingnan nyo nga. O oh, kasi baka mamaya divisible naman. O oh, sige, try natin. O, so, 108 div divided by 23. O, hindi siya divisible. Okay, kaya ito na ang final answer nyo. Okay, for number 5, we have this one. This is also very easy. We have here 15 raised to 0. Uh, raised to negative 10. So, kailangan muna natin itong gawing 1. So, this is 1 raised to negative 10. Para makuha natin yung positive nito, this will be 1 over 1 raised to 10. So, 1 raised to 10 is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So, simply, ang sagot lang dito ay 1. Ha? In-explain ko lang kung ano yung naging procedure based doon sa ating mga concept. Okay, for number 6, we have here 3 raised to 4 plus 3. Raised to negative 2. O, kunin na natin yung 3 raised to 4. What is 3 raised to 4? Kung alam natin na 3 raised to 3 is 27, o, kulang pa tayo ng isa. So, times 3 pa natin para maging 3 raised to 4. So, we have here 21, carry 2, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2, you have 81. So, eto, 81 eto. Plus, Okay, what is 3 raised to negative 2? Para matanggal yung negative exponent, ito ay magiging 1 over 3 raised to 2. Ang 3 raised to 2 natin ay ano? Okay, ay 9. So, we have here 1 over 9. So, what is 81 plus 1 over 9? Fraction na naman. Ah, alam ko na kung saan kayo mahihirapan dito. Sa fraction, no? Sa pag... Adding nyo at pag minus nyo ng fraction kasi madalas dyan talaga kayo nagkakamali. Okay, so over 1 ito. Ano ang LCD ng 1 at 9? So, that's 9. 9 divided by 1 is 9. 9 times 81 is how many? O, pakisolve nga. 81 times 9 is 700. 29, correct. Plus, 9 divided by 9 is 1 times 1. You have 1. So, 729 plus 1 is 730 over 9. Okay, divisible ba yan? Ha? May lowest term pa ba natin sila? O, oh, wait lang. 
Hindi na. Kaya yan na yung answer ninyo. Ano na, paano ba to? Wait. O, enter ko. Okay na yan. Siya na yung sagot. Kasi hindi naman divisible by 3 itong 730. Upon checking kasi 7 plus 3 is 10. Diba? Yung shortcut natin para malaman natin kung divisible ba siya by 3. I-add mo lang yung mga numbers. Then kapag multiple siya ni 3, divisible siya by 3. So, dahil hindi, yan na yung answer ninyo. Okay, so for number 7, we have this one. Oh, mukhang complicated na naman tong isa ha. Pero kung mapapansin ninyo, itong buong expression na to ay naka-raise kay 0. Which means, ito ay equal lang naman kay 1. And then, imumultiply mo siya. O, oh, teka lang ha, yung exponents muna natin na nandito sa loob yung kailangan natin i-apply. So, we have here 1 kasi naka-raise sa 0 plus a 5 raised to negative 2. Pero hindi muna, ah, since 1 naman to, ang sagot pa rin naman ay ito, ba So, we have here 1 times this 1 is this 1. So, what is 1 plus a 5? You have 6 raised to negative 2. Para maging positive ito, i-reciprocal natin. So, you will have here 1 over 6 raised to 2. What is 6 raised to 2? You have 36. So, your answer here is 1 over 36. Okay, that's it. How about for number 8? 3 raised to 0 is 1. Tama. Times what is 4 raised to 3. So, we have 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4. You have 64. So, 64. What is 1 times 64 is 64. Okay, now for number 9. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung negative 8, naka-raise na siya kay 0. Which means, eto, 1 lang ang katumbas niya. So, we have here 6 times 1. So, 6 times 1 is 6. Ang dali. Pag may mga 0, ang dali lang, no? How about here? We have here 5 raised to negative 3 divided by 5 raised to 3. Ito, para ito ay maging positive, ang gagawin natin, this will become 5, uh, oh, 5 to the 1 over 5 raised to 3. Hindi divide natin siya by 5 raised to 3. So, what is 5 raised to 3? 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5. You have 125. So, here you will have here 1 over 125 divided by 125. Kasi pareho lang naman sila, ba? Pero sa, dahil division ito, yung uh, inyong, wait lang. Yung inyong divisor, kailangan kunin natin yung reciprocal niya, ha? So, you will have here 1 over 125. Natatandaan nyo, keep, change, and then reverse or reciprocal. Anong ibig sabihin nun? I-keep. Itong dividend, ito magiging times na siya. So, magiging times na siya. And then, you get the reciprocal of this. Kaya, magiging 1 over 1. 25 din siya. So, 1 times 1 is 1. And then, what is 1? 25 the, times 1. 25. Ilan? So, you will have here 1 over 15,625. I-check nyo yan, ha? Pero pag minultiply ko yung 125 times 125, eto na yung lalabas. Okay, for number 11, we have this one. Okay, 1 over negative 5 raised to negative 3. Dahil ito ay negative at nasa baba siya, kung kukunin natin yung reciprocal nito, eto ay papanik dito. Okay, kaya magiging 1 times negative 5 raised to 3 na siya. So, what is now negative 5 raised to 3? So, negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. So, this will become 25 multiplied by negative 5. You will have negative 125. So, 1 times negative 125. I-multiply mo kay 1. Simply, ang sagot ay negative 125. So, ganun lang siya. 
Okay, for number 12, both has negative exponents, diba? Kaya ito, para maging positive, baba siya. Ito, para maging positive, taas siya. So, magkakaroon ka dito ng 4 raised to 1. Dito naman ay 9 raised to 2. Nagkabaliktad sila, ha? So, 4 raised to 1 is a 4. 9 raised to 2 is 81. Hindi na ito masisimplify. Ito na ang sagot. Okay, for number, naiintindihan to ha? For number 13, we have here 8 over 3 raised to negative 1. Dahil negative 1 ito, or negative exponents ulit, itaas mo ulit siya. So, makakasama niya na si 8. Kaya ito ay magiging 8 times 3 raised to 1. And 3 raised to 1 is simply 3. Kaya ito ay magiging 8 times 3. And what is 8 times 3? You have 24. Okay? And for number 14, we have here 5 raised to negative 2. So, dahil ito ay negative, kailangan makuha ang reciprocal niya. So, bababa siya. Makakasama niya si 6 raised to 0. Pero dahil ang 6 raised to 0 ay equals to 1 lang naman. O, so, ha, na natin ha. We have here 5. 5 raised to negative 2. Ang 6 raised to 0 mo ay 1. So, ito, i-reciprocal natin, kaya magiging 1 over 5 raised to 2. Diba? Nagkabaliktad tong dalawa na ito. Kaya, ito ngayon ay magiging 1 over 5, uh, 5 times 5, 25. So, let's have the last number. We have here 4 over 7. Naka-raise siya sa negative 2, ha? So, sa totoong buhay, yung 4 meron yung negative 2 na naka-raise sa kanya. At itong 7, naka-raise din siya sa negative 2. Kaya, ito ay 4 raised to negative 2. And then, 7 raised to negative 2. Ngayon, para ito ay maging positive yung mga exponents nila, i-reciprocal nyo. Pagbalik ta rin nyo. Kaya, ito ay magiging 7 raised to 2 and then ito ay magiging 4 raised to 2. Now, what is 7 raised to 2? You have 49. Over, what is 4 raised to 2? We have there 16. O, hindi na ito masisimplify ha. Ito na ang sagot. So, ganun lang kadali itong learning task na ito ha. Kaya, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, kalimutan nyo na ang lahat. Huwag lang ang inyong mga comment ha. Alam ko, alam nyo kung gano'n iyon kahalaga para sa video na ito. At syempre, kung marami pa kayong time, baka naman, i-follow nyo naman ang ating page, Maria Matix Mat. So, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and see you on my next video.